Wildlife trade and utilization, whether legal or illegal, are responsible for the potential emergence and spread of many zoonotic diseases that can cause novel human diseases, stressing the importance of regulating these activities. High global and domestic demand for parrots as pets and consequent removal from the wild for the trade have significantly contributed to their severe decline worldwide. One third of the nearly 400 parrot species are threatened by extinction today. The trade is vast. Not every parrot species is at equal risk of being traded. There's controversy concerning the role of demand and the opportunity-based factors driving the illicit wildlife trade. We use the criminological model CRAVE to analyze the factors associated with traded parrots in Indonesia, countries shown to have the highest priority for parrot conservation. Southeast Asia is both a major hotspot for biodiversity and an epicenter for illegal wildlife trade worldwide. We quantify the relative importance of the components in the criminological model. For this, we use data of previously published studies and recent parrot confiscations covering a timescale of two decades in Indonesia. We show three factors predicting a higher probability for a species ending up on the wildlife trade. First, when it was possible to legally export the species. Second, when they were more attractive, like colorful, large and able to mimic suns. And third, when the range overlapped with higher human population density. This suggests that demand and opportunity-based factors together can partially explain the illegal wildlife trade in Indonesia. The finding that demand-side factors are important suggests that people are targeting attractive species that are easier to sell in licit markets and that there is a cross-cultural preference for particular parrot species, especially ones that have been historically overexploited. The significant overlap between the domestic and international trade of certain species suggests the possibility that a high number of wild-caught birds in Indonesia are purposefully mislabeled as captive bred in order to be legally exported. The non-significant effect of the status of national protection of these species indicates that Indonesian market sellers are not fearful of regulations, so more efficient law enforcement is needed urgently. Kegiatan konservasi dan penyadar tahuan masyarakat sangat penting untuk dilakukan agar keberadaan populasi yang ada di alam uh, tetap terjaga dan terhindar dari kepunahan. Further strategies to reduce the trade of a studied species could take the form of nest protection, educational awareness campaigns for children and consumers, and using the power of media in science communication. We have a program of CAP, Conservation Awareness and Pride program, so make people in here proud so they can also help us to protect the bird, especially cockatoo and parrot. Let's go.